Okay, so in this session we are going to be looking at motion tracking and this is the final result that we should hopefully be achieving. Now we've made the GUI, we've done some green screen keying and um, now all that's left to do is motion track our GUI to the um, frame. So we've gotten rid of the green so we can put it on there and so that's our final task. So, um, we're going to work from the same After Effects project as last time, so this is where we left it, where we had um, you know, keyed this green, this green frame, and this is our layer we put below, but I'm just going to get rid of that for now. Um, so, what we want to do first of all is just import our hand scanner. I'm going to grab this hand scanner and just put it below, and you can see that you know that's going to fit below. Um, anyway, I don't know why I'm moving that around. Um, I'm going to deactivate that for now um, because I want to first of all start motion tracking this. Now, the reason we had crosses on here before was so that we could motion track them, but you know they've gone now because I've gotten rid of them. So all I'm going to do is drag a clean piece of the footage in and put it on top. So you know we're back to what we were before. And I want to start using this data by here in the corners to motion track. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my tracker which is on the side. If you can't see your tracker just go to window and make sure tracker is ticked and then it'll be there. So um, let's select this layer and go into my tracker and I want to track motion. So click that and you'll notice it opens up in the layer window which is fine that's what we want. And at the moment we've got one track point but if we just enable rotation and scale then we'll get other tracking points. So we can I'll actually I'll zoom in show you what I just did. So we can make them bigger by clicking this inner box, dragging out and then bringing it back in like that. Now basically this inner point I went through in lecture, this inner point um sorry, this inner box is what the software is going to be looking for. So we can make this bigger and smaller by clicking these corners. So this is the this is what the software is going to be looking for and this is the box it's going to be looking for it in okay so if we make this box massive it's going to take ages to do okay so we don't want to do that so I know it goes left to right so I'll make it a little bit wider than it is in height and this is the area I want to look for I'm going for a contrast in corner area so you've got two yellow corners and we've got a little shadow underneath and I'm now going to drag this one up to the other corner up here so that's where I'm going to lock on to another contrast in point. Let's zoom in a bit. I want to close this down. So this is the area I want to search for. And this is where I want the computer to search for it. Okay. Now once we've lined those two up, all I want to do is click this track forward or analyze forward button. And it's going to move throughout the footage and look and track those points. Okay. So yours is probably going to go faster than mine because as I said before I am currently unfortunately on a laptop because my computer is in the shop um, but you can see it's tracking forward and it's nearly done it to the end of the shot now and there you go. So you can see where it's cached in by here it's followed it along and you can see this demonstrated by if I zoom in each of these little points. Okay, So I just want to come back to where it started because I started about halfway through by there and then I'm going to analyze let's make this fit forward I'm going to analyze backwards this time so give that a click and now it's going to analyze backwards through the shot okay it seems to be going a little bit slower this time so I'm just going to pause the recording until mine's completely done okay so um, my uh, shot is tracked all the way through so I'm just going to do that. Uh, my shot is tracked all the way through and you can see that it's generated all these sort of all this data by here. Now what we want to do first is we want to create a new null layer. So if we go to layer, new and null object. All null object means is null means nothing and it's it's just a completely empty layer. There's no colour data there's no positional scale rotational data, it's completely empty. It's just like a holder if you want. So what we want to do is we want to apply this keyframe tr motion track data to this null object. So if we go 
edit target and select the null mine is called null 3 click OK and then we want to click apply and then to the X and Y and so now we've got this null object which has um, taken this information and even though it's jumped to this keyframe that's fine it's gonna just match take both of them okay so that's what we've got now our GUI uh, first of all we can disable this um, footage the one we use just to get the data um, and we can put our GUI in the background so what I'm going to do I'm going to come to the beginning turn my GUI on this render um, I'm going to select it go to effects and presets and let's go to corner pin click and drag that on so now I can oh it's gone onto the wrong layer excuse me um, so I want to click and drag it onto the GUI so now I want to move these corners I'm just going to go outside a little bit just so I give myself a little bit of breathing space just the outside and you can see that's matching the perspective up okay so um, next thing I want to do now that that's lined up I want to get this pick whip if you can't see that just toggle these switches I oh, should be able to see it click and drag to link this to the null object and once it's on the null let go if you can't if another way to do it is to click in this parent drop down and just parent it to the null so now this is going to follow the null object I just want to move this a little sorry just want to move the um, corner pin a little bit so it lines up a little bit smooth over there there we go now um, if you were to play through you sh it should be sticking to the shot now because it's linked to that null layer which has the um, motion tracking data so it should with a little bit of luck um, stick to it throughout the shot so I'm just going to let mine preview through and then we'll have a look Right, nearly there. Just got three seconds left, but you can see just from, just from looking at it, you can see that it is sticking. And nearly there. Nearly there. And I'll show you a little technique in case yours isn't sticking as much as you would like it to. I'm just going to turn the sound off of these. There we go, sorry. There was a TV show on in the background. So as you can see, we've got our GUI sticking. And if there were to be a little bit of drift, there's a slight bit of drift in mine. But you know, for the best, for the most part, it is sticking there. If you do see a little bit of drift, what you can do is this corner pin. Let's say it drifts a little bit. You can keyframe these at the beginning. And if I come, if you look at this bottom corner of mine, it drifts. It gets a little bit closer towards the end, but that's also the angle. So it, uh, what I can do is I can kind of move it sort of just back like that, and just move it a little bit like so. And now, if we were to play it again, because we've keyframed these, it'll sort of compensate for their for the tracking points. Okay if it were to slide a little bit. So I'm just going to let that play through, cash in now and we'll play through one more time and that's a nice little way that you can fix any tracking that has gone a little bit astray. What I will do is I'll create a, another tutorial on advanced motion tracking with inside of After Effects so what that will go through is if you've got some tracking points which are giving you a bit of jip I'll show you how to go in, find out what the problem is and annihilate that problem like so there you go now by keyframing that corner pin we've tried we've managed to combat a little bit of the drift that was on there so i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you in the next session